Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to discuss math tricks to easily figure 20%. Now, there's a couple of things that you can do with that. Uh, with 20%, as you might imagine, 20% can be thought of as 0.2, as you may know. So one way to figure out 20% is multiply by 0.2. It's just like multiplying by 2, which is pretty easy to do. The only thing you got to keep in mind is the decimal place. So for example, if you have 125 and you want to figure out 20% of 125, you can just multiply by 0.2. Like I said, it's just like multiplying by 2 except with the decimal point. So 125 times 2 is 250. The only thing you got to keep in mind is make the adjustment for the one decimal place. So just put the decimal place here. So what that means here is 20% of 125 is simply 25. Now, if you have a larger number, let's just say 1500, same kind of idea. Multiply by 0.2, but 1500 times 2 is 3000. The only thing you got to keep in mind is make room for that one decimal place, so just put the decimal like so. So that means 20% of 1500 is 300. So if you like fractions, you can multiply by a different way. 20% is 0 0.2, but you can also think of this as 2 tenths. Now, here's the thing about 2 tenths. It's a reducible fraction, and it's 1 fifth. So another math trick that you can use to figure out 20% is multiply by 1 fifth, but in actuality, you're just dividing by 5. So that's another math trick. So let's just say you want to find out 20% of, let's just say, 45. Just take 45 and divide by 5, which is 9. So 20% of 45 is 9. And if you want to find out, let's just say, 20% of, let's just say, 100, take 100, divide by 5, and you'll get 20. A little simpler than the others, I know. But uh, really, there's two little tricks that you can use to figure out 20%. Either multiply by 0.2, which is almost like multiplying by 2, or you can divide by 5. And those are really quick ways to get there. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and there's a couple of math tricks to figure out 20%.